Hello. 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 Um, we're FTTV. If you haven't seen this before. No, we're not. We're not. No, we're not. Hello. We're, F we're FDTTV. We are. That, that is correct. If you, um, if you haven't seen us muck that up before, then you're obviously not <laughs> subscribed. So make sure you are because we can't get our own name right. It's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> what I would say is we have done two of these now. So if you haven't watched the previous two to know where we're at, go back and have a little look. Even if you just catch the last couple of minutes of it, so you know what the squad is. We're assuming that we got a team against Wales, correct? And then squad rotation for Belgium, change of tactics. Now we're against Denmark. What I should say is him. That's me. I'm pointing to to my own caricature, which is a little bit outdated now, as you can probably tell. But he over there, he's Mike. I am Mike. Uh, I'm Ian. Closing uh, the name, closing the name. We do, yeah. We do have a weekly podcast. We are making lineup predictions every week, and we're currently doing a fitness challenge. There is lots going on, um, which is why you should be subscribed to FDT TV. Well done. Don't always get it wrong. Right, <laughs> should we get into this squad? Yes. So, first game against Wales, we played five at the back. Then we've changed it to go a bit more attacking against Belgium. Denmark mm -hmm. have only got one good player that I know of, and that's Christian Eriksen, and he's been shit. <laughs> to put it bluntly. So, I think there's going to be a lot more squad rotation here. Mm -hmm. Two games, two goalkeepers. It's only fair that I think the man who potentially is going to be Manchester United number one very soon and certainly England number one when he does get that spot Dean Henderson played fantastically for Sheffield United shows what difference a keeper can make to a team because Sheffield United are just leaking goals like there's no tomorrow uh, at the minute are we happy with four at the back against Denmark I think there's going to be still room for a lot more attacking in this game because Denmark are maybe not as defensively strong uh, as some of the other players or some of the other teams that we've played. So are we happy we're sticking with four at the back? Yes. Okay. With that being said, we only have one recognised left back in the squad. We do have Saka, who has played there. Maitland Niles can play there. We've seen that in the past for Arsenal. Mm -hmm. Who's who's starting for you at left back? Uh I'll go with Chilwell again. Chilwell again. Um yes, we uh he didn't play or, or he obviously didn't play in the first game due to the uh, suspension, if you like. Yep. Um, naughty, naughty. Rule of six. But, yeah. But I think, as you've uh, just quite clearly said, um, he is the recognised left back. Yep. And therefore, uh, but providing he didn't get sent off in the, uh, yeah, the, Dem uh, the Belgium game. In the Belgium game. <laughs> yeah. We're assuming, um, yes. What we're making the assumption is we're going with squad rotation. We're assuming that we're not receiving any red cards or major injuries. Um, because as much as you'd like to say, let's take some of the competition out, because I'm a West Ham fan, he's an Arsenal fan. As a country, we won. You, you might want to weaken the opposition. You don't really want to weaken your team as, as, as such. Mm -hmm. um, Tyrone Mings, for us, has played the last two games. Yep. So I think it's only fair to give him a rest. I will say that's a suggestion for me, Michael yes, Keane. Literally just looking at him on the uh, on the England page. Um, and um, yes, that was going to be my he, suggestion. He did have a bit of a clangor uh, at the weekend. But I say at the weekend, we're recording this on transfer deadline day. So we're a few days removed from what we were doing. Um, so as I say, the weekend, it was his last game for Everton. He did let, let one go for his legs. Um, but again, has been consistent this season. Um, and played quite well. Uh, what is next? We have obviously kind of Cody now. Is he going to stay, or is Maguire coming back in? Um, I would say Maguire back in. Maguire back in. I think this one potentially depends on how if he if we do get beaten by Belgium, how badly we get beaten, and, mm -hmm. it, and in the manner in which we concede goals. I think if he plays well. Then he, he potentially can keep his place, but was in the interest of squad rotation again. Yeah, 
I, I, I'd agree. And just because he hasn't played, I would say Alexander yep. Arnold's probably going to start this one if he doesn't start either of the other two. So that is yep. our defence very much sorted quite quickly. Um, now, I feel like we could for this, and, and this is just throwing it out there, go two up top, but only one defensive midfielder for this. Yep. Um, so, I mean, I know we've Eric Dyer has played two matches for us, so I think he's not going to play. We could see Rice coming back in or potentially Calvin Phillips plays there. We've seen Jordan Henderson play there for, Tot uh, for Tottenham, for Liverpool. I think probably going to be one of those two that replace him. Mm -hmm. um, go on. You have it. I, I would say purely on a basis that if he's fit, um, which we have been reliably informed he is uh, currently injured at the moment. <laughs> but yeah, I would go for, for Hendo. Hendo. So uh, as we did say earlier, uh, there's a couple of players in this squad. Um, Phillips being one, Maitland Niles being another, Harvey Barnes being a third, that potentially will get game time, but just not starting. Starting, yeah. Um, I mean, above him, James Will Prowse for me, just just to sit in sort of that sort of gap. Mm -hmm. um, I can see that going in there. Uh, so what am I doing? Sorry, I'm having a bit of a brain fart there. What we're going to do is like that. Uh, the reason I say that is let, let's take Harry Kane. I feel like we're going to play a little bit of that. Maybe Will Prowse will be a bit more central. Um, I think they might shore up as a, a a midfield two, potentially with Henderson pushing into there. Mm -hmm. That's 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 how I feel we could play for this game again. Two wingers. Um, <sighs> difficult one for me. Sterling, we've got on the list. He was meant to be in the squad, but he's pulled out with a hamstring injury. Yep. Um. I feel we could see the return of Marcus Rashford potentially in in, in that role. Yep. Uh, depending on how he plays, Grealish could keep his place. Uh, and again, we've got Harvey Barnes who naturally plays in that position, and Mason Mount who has played in that position for Chelsea. Uh, go on. I'll let you pick it. It's. it's it, I think this one's a little bit up in the air. I think by this point, if we if we've one two games, then I think Harvey Barnes starts. If we've yes, if if we've drawn two or drawn one and lost one, then for me it's probably Rashford. But yep, um, so I, I literally I I was just going to say the same thing, and um, I, I think I would be inclined to put Harvey Barnes there just because he's got the le or the lesser link with Chilwell. Yep, um, plus if or we've or the other two or the other three, depending on um what position you're playing in by our, by our reckoning have all, all had game time as well. Yes. Um I think he's a quality player. Um and I think it's more, as I said, there the Leicester link there. Yep. Um although Les Leicester have just sold too well. Yeah, but, yeah. Yeah. But I, I know that. But <laughs> no, I know. I'm just pointing it out for our lovely viewers. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> it's, yeah it's that's not, not a Leicester a lovely kit. What are you on kit? about? Uh, <laughs> yes, no, I know, I know that Chilwell plays with Chelsea. Do you know who? I'm, I'm just saying because of you, the sorry, previous link. Do you know who I think was a mistake letting him leave and not giving him more game time? I know that when he when he did change his allegiances, he was having a torrid time at Man United. Wilfred Zaha. Mm. Can you imagine him in this team? It, 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 we would obliterate everyone, uh, but we we did let him leave. Or some unknown reason. Um, Sancho, he missed the first yes. game with suspension. Is he is he keeping his spot, or do you think there's someone else coming in? For me, he keeps the spot. Yep. Okay. Quite happy with that. Uh, let's get rid. Well, no, maybe not. So up top, we've got the choice of Marcus Rashford, Danny Ings, Harry Kane, Tammy Abraham, and Dominic Calvert Lewin. Do you know what, right? I would actually be inclined to say 
that I know Jose Mourinho is a little bit concerned about the amount of games that um, Harry Kane plays over this international break, as I'm sure many managers would be with the Premier League this season. The fixtures are coming thick and fast. Yep. Um, I would be inclined to put Rashford and Tammy Abraham as up top. That, that's different to what I thought you were going to say, but... Okay. I thought you were going to say and keep Kane in there. But uh, Rashford, and I think Tammy Tammy is going to start this one because, just because of if he hasn't started already. Mm-hmm. Um, what am I doing? Who's in, who's in behind him? Oh, Danny Ings. Um, I, I could, I can see that because you've got the pace of Rashford. Abraham's is big. I could also see Dominic Calvert-Lewin in there in place of Rashford or Tammy Abraham. Um, again, he's a big unit. He's on form. I, th- I think this one potentially, uh, again comes down to what the previous two results are. Mm. Um, when we're taking a guess at it, we're just going from the basis of we've predicted it's right, squad rotation and squad rotation, and sort of the best. Would you not swap those two around, or would you have in those positions? Uh, yeah, I, but we've seen, uh, and the reason I, I know you've said that is because we've seen Rashford deployed more as a left winger mm. um, for United, but yeah. I feel like they'd be chopping and changing most of the match anyway. Yeah, yeah. Um, Harvey Barnes, I could see him swapping and changing with Rashford um, and Sancho and him, as we said in the previous video about the, the tactics of them switching. But yeah, I think Henderson is solid. James Will Prowse and ping balls about dead, especially from a, a set piece, dead ball situation. I, f- I feel like we've... we've done, uh, I'm quite quietly confident, you know. I think if... <laughs> well... If we've got the first one, you could say that he's going to go with Harry Kane up top all the time and, and stick with the same sort of squad as he has done. But I think with the amount of games that have been played, um, the chance that for the next international roundups, that means managers are going to say to players, feign an injury, don't go. Yes. Yeah, um, yeah. And keeping them happy. Um, it's a 30-man squad for three games. You've got, a, you've got to have squad rotation. Use every mm-hmm. player available to you. Um, hope we don't get any injuries, especially not to Declan Rice. Unless he's a Chelsea player. Um, and, then... and Saka. And Saka. Yeah. And made up us. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I can see... Uh... Do you know what is going to annoy me? Is if he makes substitutions, but at like 86 minutes. Yes. What's the point? Make it at 60 minutes. Give, give a player a run out. Give him a chance to change the game. I don't suppose you can remember how many subs they can have per game in this, do you? Three. Oh, it is still three. I, th- okay. I think it's the same. I think you have seven on the bench, uh, but you can still make three. Okay. Um, I-, I may be wrong in that, but that's my understanding for it. Of course, it's a uh, competitive game, isn't it? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's not a friendly, so you can just change the whole team at half time. Yeah, um, yeah. Which is what we have seen previously. Um, mm. But yeah, so three potentially tough games coming up. I hope we get three wins. It's not international football isn't hasn't got the appeal that it used to have. Um, I don't know how they can fix it. I th- do you know what? Right, I do. I do like the idea of um, this because it's effectively the qualification for the Euros, but there is a trophy at the end of it. I think until you get past these actual stages, or depending on where you actually finish within the group. Mm. Because I, I think it goes the group stages, then you put some teams are put into the draw for, for the Euros, <laughs> and then it depends. Or then you've got that little knockout tournament, haven't you? It's the semi finals and then the final. Yes. Um, but you've also guaranteed your European Cup um, place as well. Yeah. I think with England, because we. We always seem to do in the well in the qualifying rounds for any major tournament. I think there's only once in my lifetime that I can remember us not going to a major tournament, which was the World Cup in '94. Um, I was two. Oh, so. <laughs> wasn't there another one we didn't qualify for? Fairly, fairly recently. Regardless, um, so I, I think this may be taken as a bit of a formality. Like, like we said in the last, um, the last couple of videos, the, the Wales game, I think is going to be the more mundane game. The Belgian game, I think is going to be the toughest game that we've got. And depending on the other two results, 
I think will very much depend on a the squad that is picked for this, but could also be a bit of a bogey game for us as well. Um, this is, cool. sounds, sounds a bit weird. I feel like this is is the beginning and the end for Gareth Southgate. Um, and the reason I say that is there is another young English manager who is without a club at the minute, and that's Eddie Howe. And I know mm-hmm. a number of them have said we he can't manage the big personalities and stuff. With an international squad, you've only got to do it for a short time. It's not week in, week out. So I feel like they could go, well, actually, Southgate's waning a bit. He's had his moment in the sunshine. He did fantastically, but it's started to come a bit lackluster now. Let's change mm-hmm. it up. So... Uh, Depending on the, if we lose all of these, I can see them going, nah, you're out. I don't think we will lose all of them. Uh, I think we'll come away with two wins and a loss. Mm-hmm. But if he, if if the un, unruly, no, that's not the word I'm looking for. The unlikely circumstance that we do lose all three, I think that's the end of the AF Southgate. Potentially, yeah. I think because even on the uh, the prediction show in our podcast, if you want to check it out, there's um, we'll put a link for the video uh, at the end of this. But there's um, I've I've actually predicted two draws and a loss for us on that one. But that that was purely based on the um, the the two recent games that we've had. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> but again, I think they were only friendlies, weren't they? Yes. Um, that we had just at the start of the uh, the Premier League season, or just before. Yeah. Whatever it was. Um, <clears throat> so I think because these potentially may be, oh, sorry, because these are more competitive, they may be taken more seriously, at which point the players may take the game a little bit more seriously mm-hmm. because there's something to achieve at the end of it. Um, but just from what I saw from the last two games, I just wasn't impressed. And I think even if, if, if you say if we get the two wins and a draw, I think it'll be safe. I think if we get two draws and a loss, which is what I'm prediction, predicting, we could see some issues possibly for Gareth Southgate. And yeah. likewise, if we lose all three, then yeah, yeah, I agree. So it's been, it has been very negative tactics mm. recently, is it? So I know you've got to bring in certain players <laughs> to give them their first caps and it, in taste of international football because it is different to domestic football. But at the same time, they don't fit your squad. Shouldn't be playing. Yep. Uh, I know you're obviously going to change from time to time, but we went at one point, we had three defensive midfielders. Why, why, why are we playing with seven defenders? It, we don't need that. Mm-hmm. We're, we're going to be, we're England. We're going to be good. We're not always good, but you know what I mean. <laughs> um, we have moments of brilliance. Yes. If you do agree with our squad selection, let us know in the comments below. If you don't agree, let us know. Uh, and let us know what your selection is. Um, if you haven't already, we do appreciate the like and subscribe. Um, we, as we said at the beginning, we've got a lot of things going on on the channel. Um, so yeah, get on it, get involved. Just do it. Just do it. That's Charlotte Booth. Do it. <laughs> yeah, I've been Ian. I've been Mike. Uh, we are FDT TV, and we'll see you for the podcast next week. Thanks very much. Bye.